Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna share with you my top four pencils of the year. These are the mid-range pencils. So they're not quite budget friendly, but they're like kind of like in the middle of that budget friendly price range. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Okay, so my last video, I share with you my top five budget-friendly pencils. What I consider budget-friendly is a pencil that is under 50 cents per pencil, meaning you can get so many pencils, so many pencils for like a bang for your buck. You can get a lot of bang for your buck, okay? So these pencils that I'm about to share with you they're a little more expensive. They're more than 50 cents per pencil. And a lot of people actually kind of get this confused. They call some of these pencils budget friendly when they're actually in the same price range as an artist grade pencil. So I'm gonna share with you my number one pick pencil. And I know you might be surprised about this, but this is my number one pick of the mid-range priced pencils. Now, I know you might be looking at this like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Those pencils are artist grade. They're very expensive. And what are you talking about? Well, actually, Prismacolor pencils usually run under $100 for the 150 count on Amazon all the time, all day, every day. Uh, right now, they are running about $95, $96 for the 150 but just a couple of days ago, they were running uh, $90, and a few days before that, they were $89 and $88. Then on Black Friday, they went down to $79 on a couple of other sites, but I don't really see them above the low 90s for the 150. So if you paid $92 for not $92, $96, which is the highest that I, you know, kind of seen them, $98 on Amazon, you will be paying 64 cents per pencil. That's what you need to look at when you're deciding how much uh, a pencil is costing you. You need to look at how much it is per pencil that you're spending, not like the whole price range. So these right now are 64 cents per pencil if you get this 150 count. These are my absolute favorite pencils. I love them. I'm a heavy handed colorist and they just made my coloring just go to the next level. I didn't enjoy coloring until I learned how to use my Prismacolors. And this is my backup set that has never been opened that I bought two years ago. So I've never had to go into um, my backup set. I still have my, my first original set. Oh, those are my pens. I still have my first original set from when I first started coloring, when I first purchased my 152, I mean my 150 count. So I still have these. So those are my number one pick for a mid-range colored pencil. The best mid-range color pencil. I mean, that's the best of the best. And you can almost call it budget friendly. If you call the rest of these pencils budget friendly, you may as well call this one budget friendly too. But before I move on, um, I just wanna share with you the 72 count of Prismacolor. So if you can't afford a hundred bucks right off, you wanna get the 72 count because a lot of pencils are coming in 72 counts. So the 72 count usually runs under $50. Right now it's $46, $47. So that would make these pencils 49 cents per pencil. That's actually the cheapest, um, no, I'm sorry, 66 cents per pencil because they're $50, under $50. They're $49 for the 72 count. 66 cents per pencil. So that's a very, very good price for a per pencil kind of thing. So if you can afford, you know, $49, half price of the 150, 
then this will be a great starter pencil if you can get this one. Now my number two pick for the best mid-range pencil is the Spira Farben. Now I had the 72 count from decades ago, not decades, because they hadn't been out that long, but from years ago that doesn't have the names on them, only the numbers. But right now they have the 96 count set and they usually run about 47, 48, $49 for the set of 96. That will put these pencils at 49 cents per pencil. So I really recommend these pencils and the Prismacolor pencils, even as just a starter pencil. If you can't, if you can afford this one or the Prismacolor as a beginner, get these pencils. This is an oil pencil and the Prismacolor is a wax. So if you want to get both of those and kind of play with wax and oil and see how you like diff those different types of pencils, these are great mid-range pencils to start with. So I highly recommend the Prismacolor. I highly recommend the Spirit Farben. So 49 cents per pencil is how much you will be spending for 96 of the Spirit Farben. Great quality, great pencil, very smooth lay down. I've colored quite a few pages uh, with these pencils. The color range, well, I only have the 72, so I don't know about the color range of the 96. It, it, but the color range of the 72 is kind of limited, but I'm sure you can do amazing things with the 72 or the 96. I actually think you cannot find the 72 on Amazon at this time. Only the 96 is available. But for the price per pencil, these are a great mid-range pencil. This is my number two pick, the Spira Farben pencils. All right. Now my number three pick is the Castle Art Pencils, the 120 set. I'm a huge fan of getting large sets. I don't like getting smaller sets and trying stuff out. 72 is like my limit. So you can try to get these in the 72. It'll be a little bit cheaper, but I recommend getting things in the largest set so you can go ahead and be done with it. You know, if you're not just trying it out, you know, so I don't, I don't care if I'm trying it out. I want the largest set of whatever I'm getting, <laughs> but the castle art pencils are usually running like $59.99. They have lightning deals often, but we're going to go with the, their regular price. They're usually under $60. So for the 120 count, you will usually spend around 50 cents per pencil. So that's a pretty good price. 50 cents per pencil. That's a great place to put them right at the mid range area. If they were cheaper, if they were like 49 or 39, I actually paid like 34 for my set, this set during Black Friday. So that made them a super budget friendly pencil, putting them at like 30 cents per pencil or 29 cents per pencil. But we're going at the regular prices, what they usually run. So they're usually $60, $62, $59, $49, which puts them at 50 cents per pencil. Now I can't recommend these like completely, completely because I have not used these a whole lot. I just got my set and I haven't really colored a whole lot of pictures with them, but from my swatching, I like their pigmentation. I like the way that they go over paper, but I haven't really did a lot of blending and working with these. So I recommend them, but I don't highly recommend them like the Prismacolor Premieres and the Spira Farben. I've actually colored pictures with those and used them for a long time. So I recommend these. They are highly recommended among the coloring community. Some people like them, some people hate them, but I like the way that they go down on my paper. So I'll give you more in-depth, you know, reviews on the Castle Art as I use them more. But for now, they are a great mid-range priced pencil for you to get if you're just starting out with coloring, if you just want to get another type of pencil. They are wax-based. So if you want to try uh, another wax-based pencils, maybe they play well with your Prismacolors, then I recommend the Castle Art pencils because they are a good price. They're mid-range, mid-budget. Mid so 50 cents per pencil, that's 
a thumbs up in my book. Now, last, I have the widely, widely, widely recommended and loved Artezas. Now, these are last on my list. I don't really recommend them because these are the highest, most expensive pencil on the mid-range list. I have the 72 set that I purchased years ago when they first came out and I haven't used them much at all. So I can't recommend them saying, oh, they're the best at blending. They're the best at, at this and that. But the coloring community absolutely loves them. But the Arteza pencils are usually running $79 for a 120 set. That puts them at 65 cents per pencil. That's more expensive than the Prismacolor, than the Spirifarben, and the Castle Art. So it's kind of interesting how people say, oh, you know, the, the Artezas are budget-friendly. You know, you need to try them, but they're actually more expensive than the Prismacolor Premier 150 set. So that's why they're last on my list because I absolutely love my Prismas and you may say, oh, the quality of these are better. They don't break as much, but they're not as soft as Prismas either. So that's why they wouldn't break as much because the Prismas are super, super soft. There's no pencil that can compare to them. I've been searching my whole entire coloring journey to try to find a pencil as soft as the Prismas as a dupe. There is no pencil out there like Prismacolor Premier. Trust me. <laughs> These are uh, sort of soft, but they are not nearly as soft as a Prisma, in my opinion. They are wax based, so they you know perform like a wax pencil. And they have these in the 72 count and the 48 counts, the Expert Arteza pencils. So if you want to try a mid-budget pencil, I wouldn't recommend these. I would recommend the Prismacolor pencils because they're actually, they're actually cheaper at 64 cents per pencil and... If you find that the 150 set for under $96, if you find them for uh, like what I've been seeing them on Amazon running like $89, that makes them way cheaper than an Arteza pencil. So those are my top four mid-budget, mid-range colored pencils. Prisma, my absolute, absolute number one. I, I recommend this one even for a beginner, uh, for, for someone who's been coloring for years and you just want to try pencils, for someone who wants to step up their coloring game, anyone who, who just wants to find a good pencil, this is what I recommend for light-handed colorists, heavy-handed colorists, whatever type of colorist you are. My number two pick, again, is the Spira Farben. For an oil-based pencil, it keeps a nice point. Uh, you know, it's good for a heavy-handed colorist, light-handed colorist. It's an all-around really good pencil. And my number three pick are the Castle Art. I have them in the case. And for 120 pencils, they run about 50 cents per pencil. And they have a nice color range. They hold their point, sharpens very well. And they're, they're really nice pencils. So this is my pick number three. And lastly, the pick number four are the Artezas, which are the most expensive in our list. So when you get into going above a dollar per pencil, then you're getting into your higher end pencils. And you're no longer in the mid-budget or mid-budget friendly, you're in high-end pencils. And I know you might say, well, for one Prismacolor pencil open stock, it's a dollar and 19 cents or a dollar and 50 cents, but that's for just one pencil. That, you know, singles of anything cost more to replace, but we're talking about the whole bundle. That's where you get more bang for your buck. And Prismacolor is the only one out of this whole list that you can get open stock. If you run out of one pencil, 
you can just go purchase that pencil just about from anywhere online or at your art supply stores. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big old thumbs up. If you enjoy adult coloring, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, because that really puts my videos into a place where more people can see them. Share this video if you think someone can benefit from it, maybe a new colorist. Don't forget to subscribe or consider subscribing if you have not already done so. Thanks so much. Ring that bell, guys, so that you won't miss a video from me. You can continue to get those notifications so that those videos can keep rolling in. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today and hanging out. And as always, happy coloring. Bye.